sector. Now, as Michael Phelps is ruling the pool, he's dominating in the competition between Olympic adverts. It's the last goodbye, I swear. According to video ad company Unruly, this Under Armour advertisement is one of the most shared of these Olympics. And to go with it, the brand has also launched a Twitter offensive, tweeting this slogan from their campaign after Phelps' second Rio Gold. It says, it's what you do in the dark that puts you in the light. That is their tagline for this. Joining me now is branding and social media consultant Peter Shankman. Peter, it's great to see you. You know, let's start with Michael Phelps. Some people thought this was a bit of a risk given his past struggles, his time in rehab, but it seems to really be paying off for Under Armour. At the end of the day, this guy is an amazing athlete. <clears throat> you know, I, I, was, I was watching, they're all amazing athletes. I was watching Kristen, your interview with Kristen Armstrong. You know, I did five miles running in Central Park this morning, and I feel incredibly sloth-like now. But, you know, <laughs> it, that's the thing that captures people. 22% of the people who watched that ad uh, responded that they felt amazement watching his uh, training. So right there, that is a, a personal connection that Under Armour now has with 22% of the people that watch that ad. That is a huge, huge number for Under Armour. This was a gamble that paid off millions and millions of times over for them. It was probably, it's probably going down as one of the smartest... Uh, uh, risks that a brand has taken in the past 50 years. That's right, and and I and I think that the the point of emphasizing <clears throat> the hard work, you know, and the struggle that gives into it really matches up with his personal story as well. So they made that bet going into it. I want to ask you about somebody like Kristen Armstrong. We just heard her amazing story. People maybe weren't aware of her, didn't even know about her before the Olympics. But she's a working mom. She goes and wins the gold. You saw her with her son. Can athletes who are kind of under the radar like that will they benefit from an Olympic sort of you know halo? after it, especially when we hear about them in these couple of weeks? They can. I mean, there's definitely a bump. Um, it's almost like a post-convention bump for the, for the, uh, uh, in politics. What's going to wind up happening is, you know, that photo, the one photo that I took away from that was her holding up her bike. And what you saw uh, was her Zip wheels. And her Zip bike wheels, Zip is a company that, that makes um, really, really fast bike wheels. They're not cheap. They're like 1400 bucks a wheel at the, at the entry barrier. So what you're looking at is Zip now says, look, that Olympic athlete who's also a mom and a, a, a full-time working mom, she won an, an Olympic gold medal on our wheels. So those kind of things are tremendously beneficial for a brand. And it's why brands try so hard to woo these top athletes. Specialized Bikes is another one. They do uh, tremendous, tremendous outreach to, to top-level riders who might not be known outside of the sport, but within the sport, you know, there's not, there's not one person in cycling who did not know who Kristen Armstrong was before today. We all knew who she was. Now she's starting to get a little more uh, aware, so her, her, her marketability to the general public has, has gone up. But she, you know, for what she is and what she's accomplished, has been well known in the sporting world. Yeah, and, that, and it's funny, the picture I think of is her hugging her son, and I'm thinking, you know, a strong woman who's a working mom. Oh, no mom, question about it. Dove, all of these companies <clears throat> who sort of, you know, highlight that part of her life. Well, and that's be what she's got now. Right, that's yeah. what she's now coming into, and, and hopefully she has a, a good uh, uh, sports agent who's going to start fielding these kind of queries, because here's a 43-year-old working mom. I'm a 44-year-old working single dad, and I still can't believe how much she's done. You know, <laughs> that's the incredible thing. She, she, that's what people are going to talk about. You know, talk about uh, people who say, oh, I don't, I don't have the time to exercise. Are you kidding me? You know, there's yeah, your yeah. answer. <laughs> that's... That's, that's exactly the kind of brand what I awareness. was thinking. That's, that's exactly the brand what I was awareness thinking, that advertisers Peter. will use. She's making yeah. me feel like i got to get out there today. That's exactly <laughs> right. I want to ask about uh, brand Olympics in general, though. There was so much turmoil, so much angst heading into this. You know, how do we feel about how the Olympic brand is doing here in Rio? It happens every year. Before sport, before there's actual sporting events, before there are records broken, before there are crashes, before there are uh, multiple gold medals won, there's nothing to talk about other than the fact that the Olympics are coming. So we look for the negatives. Oh my God, it's in Rio, there's Zika, there's sewage in the water. We look for all these things and we tend to forget about them. We have incredibly short uh, memory when it comes to things like that as soon as the action starts. So as soon as the uh, first gold is won, you know, America won the first gold, and the second we won that, I think it was in shooting, the second we won that gold, we immediately forgot about things like um, uh, uh, sewage in the water or Zika. That became an afterthought because all of a sudden it was country versus country, player versus player, uh, things of that nature, and brands know that. And so they yeah. take these $4 billion, $5 billion gambles before the Olympics start, knowing full well that they're going to go in, and the second one of their athletes hits, 
that's what people are going to be talking yeah. about. And, and, and honestly, what an inspiring group of people, too, because almost to a one, when you hear their backstory, you can't help by being uplifted by it, <clears throat> you know, truthfully. They're, they are extraordinary competitors. Peter, great to catch up with you. It's going to be fun to watch the rest of the action. Thanks so much. My pleasure, Annie.